Here are the main steps of a test that is used to identify the presence of horse meat in a food preparation that claims to be made from beef. First of all, meat is extracted from the lasagna and transferred into a mixer where the blades will begin to break down the cell walls of the meat. A few milligrams of this soup is then sampled and transferred to a tube. Surfactants are then added to destroy the lipids that make up the cell membrane. The DNA is now in suspension among the cell debris. The tube is then placed in a centrifuge to separate the various elements. The heaviest migrate to the bottom of the tube, while the much lighter DNA will remain on the surface. This supernatant containing DNA strands is collected. As, in this case, the lasagna contains both beef and horse, the two types of DNA are present in the tube. Horse DNA is blue and beef DNA is orange. The purpose of the test is now to reveal the presence of this horse DNA. To do this, the next step is to make millions of copies of this horse DNA so that it is increasingly visible. To do so, lab technicians carry out an operation called PCR. This technique consists in heating up the DNA in order to split the two strands of the double helix. DNA fragments, called primers, are added. They consist of a sequence of nucleic acid specifically engineered to bind only with horse DNA. Furthermore, a DNA probe is added to the reaction. Like the primer, probes are made of nucleic acids. One of them is bound to a fluorescent molecule on one side. On the other side, we find a second molecule called a quencher. Its function is to capture the light signal emitted by the fluorescent molecule. Like the primer, the DNA probe binds to its complementary DNA sequence on the horse DNA strand. Now it's time for an enzyme called DNA polymerase to do the photocopying job. It binds with the primer and, like a zipper, moves along the horse DNA strand and duplicates it. On its way, the enzyme will destroy the probe and release the fluorescent marker from the influence of its inhibitor. When illuminated, this molecule will emit a fluorescent signal. This DNA duplicating operation is repeated over and over, and if there is indeed horse meat in the sample, the quantity of fluorescent markers will increase. The kinetics of the reaction are monitored in real time with a camera and a computer. From the curve obtained, scientists can tell how much horse DNA was present in the meat sample.